The Herald Standard presents the game of the week. Tonight, California visits Maple Town. The Maple Town Maples made the visiting Trojans wish they had stayed in California. Dylan Rush rushing toward the goal line. First down. Then the score to follow. And this two point conversion makes it 8 to 0. Wow, what a fun homecoming. In the second quarter, California wasn't intimidated, matching with their own touchdown. Maple Town holds a one point lead because of a two point conversion. By halftime, the score is 16 to 14, the home team. Things were quite cordial until the third quarter when things heated up. California's knock, knock, knocking at the end zone. Handoff to 28, Jonathan Wood. But the ball's loose. After some consultation, this is a touchdown. And this two-point conversion gives the visitors a 16 to 22 lead. Quarterback, Austin Grillo. Maple Town, fourth and eight. And they come up empty. California, Grillo's pass intercepted by RJ Durr. It took one play to tie this game. Dylan Rush once again. But watch out for Colin Phillips. He can run. In the fourth, Jonathan Wood runs it in. California leads once again. Can Maple Town answer? Yes, they can. Tanner Griffin to Dylan Rush. But wait, a flag, oh no, it comes back. Missed pass on fourth down, but this is homecoming. Wait a minute, a second chance. He got it this time, but now it's a one point game. An onside kick? Are you serious? Well, California recovers with excellent field position. And it didn't take long to turn that into points. Ryan Cochis and this kickoff return gaff seals the deal for California. And with one more score on the board, this game ends. Maple Town 28, California 44. Adam Vril here with the Herald Standard Newspaper. I'm here with Californian Jonathan Wood. Uh, very, very key win for you guys tonight. Talk about how big this win was and how big of a game it is to kind of just get that win and hopefully kind of keep this thing going for you guys this season. Uh, yeah, coming off a loss from uh, Amani Christian, it was tough because uh, we had the game. But th this section game was big. Maple Town's a good team. Hard runner and Dylan Rush, and uh, I think we came up big tonight. You know, in the second half, it seemed like you guys were a totally different offense, uh, especially in the final 12 minutes. You got two touchdowns. Uh, on the on the uh, fourth one you had, I think it was a five-year-old touchdown to open the quarter. What did you see? Kind of talk me through that play and just kind of what developed for you guys. Um, the line opened up big holes when I saw them. I just took them. So I give my credit to my linemen all the time. Yeah. Uh, what was the change offensively? Because it seemed like in the second half, you guys just came out. Uh, what was key for you guys offensively, especially the running game for you? Um, our offensive coordinator, Mr. Welk, Coach Welk, as we call him, uh, in the locker room, he gave us a big pep talk at halftime and uh, just told us to nut up or shut up, and we came out. We didn't make any offense adjustments. We just played our game. Hey, Jonathan, good game. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Adam Brewerhill again. Uh, big defensive effort tonight. What was key for you guys defensively, especially against such a good running back in Dylan Russ? Uh, easy. Stop the run. That's all we had to do. We Tried to bring the heat on him all night and got it done. You know, they, they've won a lot of different formations too with him. Wildcat, uh, Pro I. Was it just as simple as clogging up those lanes and just tackling as a team? Uh, yes and no. He's a good ball player. You got to wrap him up, bring him down. You saw him bust a couple big runs on us, but we came out in the second half, wrapped him up better, and ended up getting the W. Now you had that big defensive touchdown in the second quarter. Uh, quarterback fumbled. It seems like half of the field kind of stopped playing. You yeah. alertly picked up the fumble and got the touchdown. What did you see? Just talk me through that play and how it kind of developed for you. Well, I was dropping back into my zone to try to cover a man in the flats, and I saw my DN, Timmy Sheehan, came by. He killed the quarterback, and <laughs> hey, that ball went flying on the ground, and I don't, I don't know. I just instinctively picked it up, and I didn't hear a whistle. I just took it to the end zone. 
you know, obviously any win in the conference is a big win, but how big of a win is this and how big of it's to maybe uh, launch this into a winning streak for you guys? Just talk about the, the, the big win tonight. Oh, well, you know, coming off that at loss against Monty, we tried to get our momentum back in. To get in this conference win, I think it really uh, – Sets us forward going into Vanessa and giving us that momentum boost. Hey, thanks a lot, Josh. Good game. Uh, thank you. Adam Brewhill with California Coach. Uh, obviously, any time you win in the, in the conference is a big win. Going into tonight's matchup, how big of a game was this for you guys? You know, it was nice to get back on track. You know, last week was a tough week for us, and that was non-conference. But, that, you know, really every week's really big for us, you know. Uh, we're just trying to take week by week, you know. The, the conference that we're in this year, you know, with – Manessa being added and Fort Cherry, I think, you know, there's going to be a lot of tough games for us, you know, so week by week, you know, is, is really good for us, you know, to, to come out with this win, you know. It was 22-22 at the end of three. You guys put up 22 points in the final 12 minutes. What was key and how big of it to come out in the final 10, 12 minutes and close out this game? You know, well, the first half were pretty flat, you know, offensively. We, we were doing what's right, but we made too many mistakes. And when the halftime, we went in there and we challenged them. We said, listen, this can't happen. You know, we, we have to fix our mistakes. You know, we made some adjustments. And, you know, pretty much we, we kept it, everything simple. You know, we just, you know, we're running dive and ISO and power. You know, so that was really good for us to be able to execute. You know, we put, you know, we fixed a couple blocking assignments on, up front. And those guys did a really good job. And, you know, you just get the ball to Jonathan Wood and Coach E's run, and, you know, <laughs> you good, a good combo. Happen. You know, that's good com Good things happen when that happens. You know? uh, defensively, obviously, uh, number nine, Dylan West, was going to get a lot of carries. Right. They mix up the uh, formations with Wildcat and I formations. You guys were able to slow them down when it counted, especially in the final 12 minutes. What was key defensively for you guys tonight? Well, Dylan, Dylan Rush is a very good running back, very good running back. And, uh, you know, having that kid on your team helps you drastically. You know, so uh, defensively, we didn't make too many adjustments at halftime. I mean, we, we knew what we wanted to do. We just had to make plays, you know, and I, I believe he got banged up a little bit. So I think that went in our favor a little bit, you know, him not being 100 percent, you know, so it, it, we were able to, you know, contain him on certain plays. He, he's going to bust big plays on you. you know, there's not much you can do. And I think pretty much you know, most of his yardage was more big plays, you know, coming out, you know, but he's a great running back. He's a real good running back. Thanks a lot, Coach. Good game. Adam Brewhill with uh, Maple Town's head coach, uh, George Mesick. Uh, <laughs> a very back and forth, a lot of momentum for both teams. It came down to the final 12 minutes. What was the biggest difference, Michael, in the, in the final 12 minutes? I think they wore us down a little bit. They were a lot bigger up front, and I, I think we just got wore down. We're physically a little exhausted at the end of the game. You know, like I can't I keep saying we're such a small school, but we got some kids who never step off the football field. But I'm really proud of them. They gave great effort. You know, we, we dropped a couple passes that we thought should have been touchdowns, and we missed some tackles. But, uh, you know, they lost to Fort Cherry, who everybody thinks is one of the top teams, and they lost to them by a touchdown. So we're going to win it. We're going to win our share of games. There's no doubt we're going to win. I'm, I'm really proud of the kids' the effort I got tonight. Hey, you guys like the offensive effort. Dylan got his old. You guys were able to hit a couple big pass plays. Is that something you want to see offensively down the road for you guys? Yeah, you know, a couple um, – I thought Tanner Griffin threw the ball well tonight. Dylan threw the ball well when he threw the ball. You know, we should have had a long touchdown pass from him. And uh, But you know what? I'm pleased with the effort we got from our kids. And uh, we'll bounce back. We got Carmichael's. I shouldn't have to say a thing to get our kids ready to play Carmichael's. And, and we'll go from there. Hey, Coach, thanks a lot. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.